Good morning, Barstow, and good Monday. I'm Libby. And I'm Kate. It's the third Monday of school. Libby, do you feel like you're getting back into the swing of things yet? It's getting better every day, but I'll never be used to waking up this early on a Monday. At least I get to be on air with you. All right, guys, let's roll the intro. Tonight. Welcome back. Okay, Kate, question time. What clubs are you involved in? This year, I'm involved in Pep Club, Operation Breakthrough Club, and I'm actually starting a new club this year for Rose Brooks. That sounds amazing. I'd love to be a part of that. Do you think you'll take part in this ethics club that Ms. Zimmerman keeps talking about? And maybe I'll stop by a couple of times. Sounds, sounds good. Cool. Yeah, I agree. Well, if any of you are even remotely interested and haven't responded to her email yet, I'd get on that. She's planning the schedule as we speak. Club forms also really need to be in as soon as possible. Here are the clubs that have already signed up for the year. If your club is not on the list soon, you won't get a table for the club fair. So get to it. So Kate, have you ever had that feeling when you get a new dress but you don't know what to wear it to? Yeah, from time to time. Why? I've solved that problem for you. Wear it tomorrow for the rescheduled convocation at 10 a.m. If it's nice out, we'll be in the senior circle as always, but if the weather doesn't feel like cooperating, we'll move inside to the gym for the ceremony. Either way, it's tomorrow at 10. All right, I'll make note of that and dress up. That's the thing about high school. There's always some ceremony to go to. True, we're pretty busy up here. It makes me reminisce about the years when I was small and there wasn't so much to do. Lower school, we turn to you now as Ryan Mohammadi introduces us to one of your newest teachers in this awesome piece. That's, that's it? That'll be how I end it. it that was good. Okay. I am Mrs. Heland. I teach third grade here, and I just moved here from Bettendorf, Iowa. Uh, I moved actually just in June, so I'm really excited to be here at Barstow. I taught third grade for four years back there, so I'm pretty lucky to be teaching third grade again. I taught third grade at Pleasant View Elementary, and it was a public school, so I had 24 or 25 students per class. And there's a lot of differences, but I am very excited to see what it's like here at Barstow. The ability for these students to get more attention from the teacher has been such a great benefit even in my first week teaching here and also the ability to do more so we can go really far into a subject even if we have less time because there's more specials I notice that I can get more out of the students and there's more focus less distractions and definitely a lot less behavior issues which is a big deal when you're a teacher my favorite thing about teaching is definitely seeing student progress not just academically but also socially and emotionally and whatever way I can see them mature and if I can take one of their weaknesses or something they're afraid of like math and turn it into a strength or something they even don't mind anymore I feel like I I don't know I feel like I've done my job at the end of the year if I've done those things so I've actually always known I wanted to be a teacher. I have one specific memory all the way back in second grade. I was a delayed reader and my second grade teacher, Mrs. Shriver, uh, she noticed it and pulled me aside and asked if I wanted to stay inside and read with her, you know, every couple days. And throughout that year, my my reading improved. And ever since then, I decided I wanted to be someone to do that for someone else and even if it's just not academic, but I had the luck of actually running into her last summer and telling her that. And my dream would be for one kid, even one, to come up to me and tell me that they remember me because of something like that. So I'm hoping on maybe a kid from Barstow doing that. Ryan. Speaking of new faces, you might notice a couple of foreign ones around the halls over the next couple of weeks. Why is that? Some students and a teacher or two will be visiting from the, from the German School of Madrid, our partner school in Spain. Make sure to welcome them here. They've come a long way to hang out with us. Absolutely. Let's look ahead and see what else is in store for us for the next couple of weeks. 
On Tuesday, the middle school hybrid learning parent meeting will be at 7.30 a.m. And on Tuesday night, if you're interested in Columbia, Brown, Cornell, Rice, or University of Chicago, there's a group information session at the Overland Park Convention Center right down the street. Hop online and register if you're interested. Upper school back to school night is this Thursday at 6.30 p.m. Parents, come out, talk to teachers, and figure out what's in store for your kids the next year. Finally, Friday is the first pep assembly of the year, so get ready and get pumped. Finally, we'd like to congratulate all of the students who will be in Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat this year. We look forward to seeing the fantastic things you'll do with this show. Well done. Well, that's our show. I'm Libby. And I'm Kate. Peace out, Barstow. <laughs>